Okay, that's uh, the start of the another trading day, Frontier Opening Bell, Thursday, the 8th of uh, June. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Just a quick run through the markets. A little bit mixed. Nigerian market down by 0.02 basis, uh, basis points. Of course, there uh, are quite some chunk of uh, back in hunting on the Nigerian boss between some of the big banks, including Airtel Africa and a few other names within the uh, consumer goods space, as well as all marketing uh, sector. The BRVM climbed by 11 basis points. The Egyptian stock market down by roughly 1%. The Nairobi stock market down just less than one-tenth of a percent, while the South African market uh, uh, was stronger by 0.37, led in demand by resources and financial services uh, companies listed on the biggest securities exchange on the continent. Let, let's quickly uh, touch on some of the big stories within the East Africa space as we look at uh, the uh, Thursday and looking at Friday, they had uh, the start of the weekend. The Kenyan uh, firms are uh, being hit hard by the weak shillings and the high fuel costs. That's according to the latest PMI, which is the Purchasing Managers uh, Index, showing uh, the realities of the moment within the uh, President Ruto's administration in Kenya. The central bank, however, has backtracked on the plans to launch its own digital currency in the footsteps of the Nigerian central bank. Uh, the central bank in uh, Kenya is uh, taking a second look at whether it is appropriate to do so and at this point in time. And the Central Bank Safaricom's uh, interest rate, uh, Lina Mapesa, has been approved. That will give an interest-free uh, loan. And Tanzania is looking at a subsidy for what you call gas-powered vehicles to attract more users. That's part of what the Tanzanian authorities, other President Suluhu, is uh, considering. In West Africa, the uh, news coming through was that a VFD group, uh, PLC Nigeria, is looking to list on the uh, Nigerian Exchange Limited, while yields jump at uh, Wednesday's primary market auction by the central bank. The financial regulator sold roughly 182 billion naira in the primary market uh, across three uh, different instruments. The 90-day paper is now printing about 4.49%. Flutterway is partnering with Token IO to expand its uh, is uh, pay by bank uh, services across the African uh, continent. Bank deposit rates within the French speaking West Africa are so about uh, um, 11 basis points. That's in the month of April. While Xavier Abidjan, which is listed on the uh, the BRVM, the Avrilian Exchange, is paying about 1.009 billion CFA franc as gross dividend to shareholders of the company. That's for full year 2022, by the way. And Woodside Energy is announcing the commercialization of its first oil find here in West Africa, but that's in Senegal. And the big news just coming through today, Thursday, was that Vista Bank Group is looking to buy the entire banking business operations of City General Hall in Equatorial Guinea, as well as in Congo, Brazzaville. It's going to be a major transaction as soon as regulatory approvals are secured in Equatorial Guinea, as well as in Congo, Brazzaville. And that's a big uh, leap forward for Vista Banking Group in Africa. Let's get on to see Southern Africa emergency meeting by President Maposa with the cabinets and the CEOs of companies all looking to rein in investors in the country because there is angst whether South Africa will uh, snub Washington as far as his close relationship with Vladimir Putin of Russia was concerned. Now, news coming out of South Africa was that the country is looking at moving out this uh, hosting of BRICS summit from South Africa to China. And that was seen a bit of a recovery this morning in the price of the do of the rand against the U.S. dollar. We've seen a bit of a recovery coming through as investors begin to reconsider uh, South Africa uh, uh, relation investment uh, destination. The country's economic and social difficulties are increasing, and that's the latest from the International Monetary Fund. While Africa Bank and Corporate News says it's posted about uh, two uh, four point four million uh, or forty four million rand in losses because it's in payment charges for bad loans. Uh, last year for the period on the review went up by about 240%. That's roughly 2.2 billion rand. And that's no good news for this commercial lender. 
And Zimbabweans are driving the local stock market, Zimbabwe Stock Exchange, up 600% since the year started, even as the local dollar, Zimbabwe dollar, down about 60% against the US dollar in the month of May alone. The stock market in Harare has been, uh, has been shut down twice this week because it became red hot. In the meantime, Zimbabwe says its gold production uh, in the month of May was uh, up by about 21%. Let's take a bit of uh, news coming through from North Africa. That $10 billion wind farm project is the biggest story now on the street as far as uh, North Africa is concerned because uh, Egypt is looking to work that out with the UAE. But other good news for the North Africa's largest economy was those seven textile factories which Egypt is pursuing to inaugurate at the cost of about 3 billion local currency by 2024. And uh, CIF leasing, which is listed on the Egyptian exchange, is secured about $44 million from Afrid Zimbang, which is also headquartered in Europe to support the company's aircraft leasing of about six Embraer aircraft and that is one latest news. And Italy's uh, Melon is uh, pledging Tunisia's um, cash and support as uh, President Saeed administration continues to hold talks with the International Monetary Fund in order to secure some support for the struggling North African economy. And finally, Libya is inviting more German companies to resume projects in the country and support the country's investment drive. All that in the news as we look at Thursday's trading day. That's your Frontier opening bell, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.